530 students and teachers who participated in the gun control walkouts yesterday were recorded. The Massachusetts Gun Owners Action League sent an email to its supporters asking them to videotape the demonstrations. WBZ's Bill Shields shows us what they're looking for. This is what democracy looks like. When high school students nationwide protested gun violence yesterday, it made national headlines. It also caught the attention of the Gun Owners Action League of Massachusetts. We started getting complaints from parents. We, we didn't reach out to them, they reached out to us, that their children were being bullied and coerced into taking part in some of these events. So the Gun Owners Action League asked its members to monitor any more protests like these. And if they want to video it, that's fine too. But that directive has raised some red flags, specifically with Senator Jamie Eldridge. It's one thing for students to be protesting or for people to either show their support or opposition. But I think it crosses the line when the Gun Owners Action League, on the day that students are standing up for gun safety, to ask their members to go to a high school and videotape young people. But the Gun Owners Action League says it's only interested in preventing bullying. And they're asking parents to monitor the protests. We just want to make sure that there's a, a fair and equal treatment of kids maybe that have a different opinion. So to suggest that students protesting, expressing their points of view is anti-civil rights, I think is disturbing. The Gun Owners Action League says they're not trying to coerce anyone or even influence the student protests. In fact, they say protesting is as vital to America as the Second Amendment. In Northboro, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.